Beloved in Christ, have you ever heard the old adage that everything that tastes good doesn't mean that it is good for you? Well, that same analogy can be used uh, for uh, the spirit realm because there is a spirit of truth and also a spirit of error. The Word of God says in 1 John 4 and 6, We are of God. He that knoweth God will hear us. He that is not of God will not hear us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Beloved in Christ, the spirit of error can be very subtle, but yet very damaging. There's a, some commercials that are out there in television land right now called Jesus gets us, but beloved, it is the spirit of error. There are two spirits in the world, the Holy Spirit, which is of God, who constantly fills us lovingly when we ask him to do so, and there's the spirit of error, which comes from the enemy to deceive man as the devil first did in the garden. It is a rebellion against God and will do its own thing, but ultimately will suffer of the consequences. It looks good. It looks very inviting. Just as these commercials that are played on national television on a daily basis that says Jesus gets us. Talking about those who so-called have alternative lifestyles. Talking about those who are breaking across the border of a country without the proper documents. And they say, well, Jesus gets us. Because Jesus was homeless at one time. Jesus accepted everybody supposedly just the way they are. In other words, they saying Jesus is love. So he gets us. Well, beloved, that same Jesus who is operating in the Holy Spirit of God will be the same one that says, depart from me, you worker of iniquity. I never knew you. Beloved, Jesus doesn't get us. Jesus bore our sins. He has the uh, 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 place himself at the right hand of the Father because of the Father's permission. And now the Holy Spirit of God keeps his children away from the spirit of error that says God loves everything and God loves everybody. Beloved, that is a true statement. But God hates sin and he hates rebellion. And when we take sin into our lives and we say this is the life that I'm going to lead and I don't need someone to have died for me. Beloved, we find ourselves in a danger zone. And people of that nature don't desire the truth. They desire religion and they will hold on to them because they are comfortable there. 
But, beloved, the Holy Spirit will convict us who are believers not to unite nor be a part of people who walk under the foul and demonic spirit of rebellion against God's word. Beloved in Christ, as the word says, they will not hear you. They will ignore you. They perverts God's way of love. And actually, they are filled with self-love, which is a selfish love. Beloved in Christ, Jesus get those who are His and His alone and are in the body of Christ. So beloved, may our Father continue to open your heart to His understanding in the name of Yeshua, Jesus the Christ.